Howdy folks, welcome back to the forge. Uh, we got a very cool project lined up for today because today, you saw the title, we're going to be working on a meteorite Damascus katana. We're going to be getting a start on that. We're going to be forging the meteorite down into some plate and getting that ready to start folding in with some high carbon steel and start constructing the blade. Now aside from it just being super awesome, I was kind of motivated to start this project by these. These are some katana fittings that I made up um, a couple months ago. I'll go into more detail over them at some later part in the series, but I thought I needed a pretty special blade to go along with those. Now as for the meteorite, there we go, that is a piece of Campo del Cielo meteorite, and it's actually not the one that I'm going to be forging in this video. Yeah, um, the one that I'm going to be forging looked pretty much just like that, but this is actually the second time I had to record this intro, so I'm recording this after the fact, because the first time I forgot to turn on the microphone. So I actually have another video up where I start the forging process on the meteorite we're going to be using today. I break off a little piece of it and use that to make some folding knives. But in this video, I'm just going to be taking the remainder of that meteorite, uh, breaking it up into little pieces and forging those, consolidating them all into a solid bar that I can begin to layer into some Damascus steel. Um, I go into more detail in, on the meteor forging process in that video. So this one's going to be a little bit more action, a little less information. So yeah, let's get to it. So, my last time around when I was working with this particular meteor, I had the most luck once I started chiseling straight into the cracks, very aggressively trying to break pieces off. This still has a lot of fissures in it, but nothing quite so severe that it's crumbling and breaking apart by itself. But still not so solid that I can just start forging on it, you know, right out of the gate. I still have to break it up into these small pieces and work each one individually. Now this chunk here is small enough that I can really cook it in the forge, get it nice and hot. Forge that out, out into a solid plate. I'm just going to work through that whole piece in little chunks about this size. solid. You can go watch my video on forging meteors if you want more detail on my meteor process, but just a quick word on why I'm using the uh, coal forge rather than my oil forge is because uh, the oil forge will put out more heat in total, but the coal forge does reach significantly higher temperatures. Now, I can pretty easily get the whole meteor up to a welding heat in my oil forge, but to actually consolidate this stuff down, i got to get it significantly past a normal welding heat. So I'm heating this to the point that if it were normal steel with any carbon in it, I'd actually be burning it pretty severely. That way I can fully liquefy any stony inclusions in there, and with the pieces small enough, I can really massage them and fully work them out of the metal, and, you know, uh, by the time they're worked out, that piece is still going to be at a welding temperature, and then I can go through and consolidate it down into a solid piece of metal.
first little piece is consolidated. Gonna do that for the rest of the meteor now. getting somewhere. There's what the inside of a meteor looks like. That's why it requires such a consolidation process. And that right there is why you can't just forge these things down all as one piece. As you can see, I'm actually using a totally dull chisel here. That's because I really don't want to be like cutting this thing apart into pieces. I want to be uh, kind of ripping it apart along previously existing cracks and fissures. And that way that blunted edge, all it's really doing is kind of driving into the metal and pulling it apart where it was already uh, going to crack and already contained weak spots. That's the idea anyways. Okay, so there we are, finished up with the first stage. Quite a bit of meteor iron. Now, that is the whole remainder of that thing forged out into workable iron. From here, next step is just going to be starting to stack up all these pieces. Get this whole thing turned into a one single solid piece. Then from there, I can just go straight into forging that into a plate that I can layer into my Damascus. Let's get to that. What do you want, cat? What are you doing? You hungry again? Weren't you hungry yesterday? Stop your whining. Okay, dude, you gotta share that with you. Okay, it's not all for you.
there you have it, people. Meteorite smashed up into a lot of little pieces and stuck back together into a solid bar of iron again. From here, should be ready to squish down into a plate and layer into some Damascus. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Psychedelic Webcam Max again, coming to you live from the future. And with my infinite future hindsight, I realized that I forgot to record an outro for this video. Now, I brought you up to the point that I had everything consolidated back into a solid bar of iron, and from there, all that remained was to flatten that out into a thinner plate. I'm going to show you a brief clip of that, but I'm going to keep it brief because it wasn't very interesting. So, in order to actually give you an overview of the project I worked on in this one, I'm going to show you a clip from a video from the future that doesn't exist yet. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one in the future. Howdy folks, welcome back to the forge. Today I guess we're going to be doing part two of working on a meteorite Damascus katana. So, last video. I got this thing forged out. Pretty substantial plate of uh, nickel iron from a meteorite. I just got that forged out to about an eighth of an inch thick, ready to layer into some Damascus steel. You may think my appearance is the result of a malfunctioning webcam, but in reality, in the future, everyone looks like this.